What if I told you that the most commercially successful video game in the looter shooter genre wasn't Destiny 2? Would you be surprised? Shocked? Would your world turn upside down? Probably not. But is it true? It might be. What is going on everyone? I'm your friendly neighborhood Delta and today I've got a very interesting video for you. In my humble opinion of course. Today we're going to be hacking into the mainframe and doing our best Mr. Robot impression. In order to settle once and for all which video game franchise was more successful. Is it The Division? or is it Destiny? Keep in mind that a video game does have a lot of different metrics of success, depending on the number of resources that went into the game's development during production, current and active player base, as well as the potential to continue making money. Before we get right into this, I would like to acknowledge the dataset source that we used in this video. Big shout out to Kaggle user Gregory Smith who put this dataset together uh, using data from vgcharts.com. And another big shout out goes out to Mike Galati who updated the dataset actually seven days ago so we can be sure that we're looking at accurate numbers and ladies and gentlemen without further ado let's hop right into the video alrighty so first of all I want to talk a little bit about the libraries that we're using here firstly we're running a Jupyter notebook on a Python kernel right now so we can use all of Python's functionality within a Jupyter notebook sort of markdown setting and we can get those pretty visualizations and to do our data analysis we're gonna be using pandas and we're using matplotlib now just taking a quick peek at the data set we see we have a number of different columns here some quantitative some qualitative. Firstly, just starting it off, we've got the rank column, and that actually shows the rank the video game is in overall sales. Glancing over at the other columns, we've got the title of the video game, obviously, and we've got the publisher, the developer, and then we see the total sales in US dollars. The other additional columns we have here is the release date, the last update date, and the genre. I found that the last update date is not necessarily the most accurate, but everything else does seem to be in order. And just to get a sense of the data visually, I went ahead and plotted the top 10 video games by overall sales of all time. To be honest, this is not exactly what I expected. I did not expect Minecraft to be the top selling video game of all time, which is then followed closely by Grand Theft Auto V. Interestingly enough, four out of the top 10 video games are actually action adventure games, not shooter games. In fact, the only three shooters on this list are PUBG and two Call of Duty games. Alrighty, now let's see if we can try extracting the division and destiny out of this. We can achieve this by doing what's called a logical mask, and by doing a logical mask of the title column, we can extract only the records that have Tom Clancy's The Division as the title column. And before we get any further, it should be noted, sales in this case, according to this data set, refers to the number of copies sold, not the number of dollars. It is a little bit misleading, but I had to dig around and try and find out the actual answer for this. Additionally, there's a lot of publications out there that talk about how many players The Division has. The widely accepted number is somewhere around the 20 million range. And that is what we find consistent with this VG charts data. But for some reason, Destiny does not show up in the complete series. So I wonder why that is. I'm still wondering, I don't know the answer to that. But what I went ahead and did was I found the total sales of Destiny 1, and then I found the total sales of Destiny 2, and then I added it to the complete series data set. And what do you know, Tom Clancy's The Division makes up number 19 on the list, and guess what makes up number 20? Destiny. So if we go ahead and filter out the data frame by the top 20 most popular shooters on the list and then we sort it by ascending, the division actually moves up to 18th on the list, whereas Destiny languishes at number 20 still. Then a thought occurred to me as I was looking at this list. Which of these games are actually considered to be looter shooters? Even though it's the most popular game on this list, Call of Duty is 100% not a looter shooter, neither is Halo, neither is Battlefield, PUBG is a battle royale, Counter-Strike is definitely not a looter shooter. So in reality, there's only three looter shooters on this list, those being Borderlands, Tom Clancy's The Division, and Destiny. So let's drill down even further, shall we? Filtering the data frame by just those three titles and then plotting it in a bar chart fashion returns this graph. As you can see, Borderlands is the far and away clear candidate here for the most successful looter shooter out there on the market. But you know, come on, it was game of the year and it's one of those years, I guess, 2016, something like that. But you can't argue with the data. Since it's sorted by ascending number of sales, Tom Clancy's The Division does appear to edge out Destiny Destiny 2 just by a little bit, even when looking just at the looter shooter market. Now as someone who's supposed to be analyzing data, you have to come up with a couple potential causes or justifications as to why you see the results that you do, because this isn't necessarily consistent with expectations. Just based on player perception and prominence alone, Destiny 2 drives way more search volume on the internet, it has a larger active player base and a larger viewer base on most social media and networking apps. And considering that this includes all of the sales from Destiny 
Destiny 1 as well covers a longer time period than The Division about two years to be exact. So what could it be? The first possible explanation that comes to my mind is platform availability. Destiny 1, for whatever reason, did not market to PC at all. It was just, it never released on PC. So therefore you're cutting out a third of your potential sales and reducing your overall market. Whereas The Division and The Division 2 both released on PC right away, right when it released. It had been a week or two delay because of exclusivity deals or whatnot, but regardless, it still came out on PC. The second potential issue that comes to my mind, well maybe an issue is the wrong way to phrase it, but a potential explanation could be the way that free-to-play accounts are calculated. Because theoretically you're getting the base game for free, you do not actually have to buy it, you know, you don't have to, there's no exchange of services when you go on Destiny 2 on Steam and click download. You could just it's free to play, or as the Destiny community likes to say, free to launch. So both of these ideas can be potential explanations for why the Division 2 and the Division franchise has sold more copies than that of Destiny. Anyways folks, I think that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and drop a comment letting me know your thoughts on the video. Was this consistent with your expectations? Did you think Destiny 2 and Destiny was going to be the far and away clear winner? Let me know. Also if you've been enjoying my content, please don't forget to subscribe for more Division and Destiny and Looter Shooter and general gaming coverage. I have been your friendly neighborhood Delta, and I am now signing off. Peace.